Agent Power Huddle is a daily jumpstart, giving you all the tools you need to create an amazing real estate career. Led by top experts in the field, you'll learn how to sell more houses in less time while creating the life you want. Welcome to the Agent Power Huddle. Good morning, everybody. I'm so excited we're alive the day after the eclipse. Ah, ah, we're standing. And you're right. Can you guys hear me? Because my microphone's a little bit off today. Um, so, yes. So today I thought, you know what? Everybody's been talking about the NAR stuff and how we're going to survive and the world is coming to an end and all these things. And I have been on several listing appointments lately. And I have yet to have one person ask me about buyer's agents, you know, and what the value of a buyer agent is. And we've had lots and lots and lots of discussions about, um, sorry, just letting some people in. So I, we've had lots of discussions about the value of a buyer's agent and proving the value and why we need to have you know, buyer's agents like books and the hundred things that buyer's agents do. There's lots of information out there. But I was at a listing a uh, listing appointment the other day um, and it was going great. And, and I still might get this one. They're a little more difficult. They're actually friends of mine. I've known for years. And they, they're the kind of sellers that think that they know everything. It's cool. Like, they're great people. Um, but probably two hours in because we were actually having more conversation than, than just listing conversation. But about two hours in, he looked at me poignantly and he said, okay, let's just get to it. I know a million jillion different agents and a lot of them are my like golf buddies and I'm not going to hire any of them. Um, if I'm going to hire anybody, it's probably going to be you. But I'm going to ask you the same question I asked all of them. And he said, what value do you bring to the table? So I don't think I'm going to put anybody on the spot. But if you want to be on the spot right now, raise your hand. Right? So if you're sitting in a listing appointment and it's going really well and he said, you know, I can put, I can go out to whatever and I can pay $99 and I can put my listing on the market for $99 and it will syndicate to Zillow and it will syndicate to RA and it will syndicate to realtor.com and it will do this and it will do that. I can do all the things and I already have a drone video because my friend is a, um, a, a drone person. What is it that you bring to the table? Because in this day, this day and age of digital whatever, I don't mind paying a buyer's agent. I do mind paying X amount of dollars to have a listing agent when I can do that myself. So what is it that you do that I can't? And I sat there and I had the answer right. And I said, you know, I have an answer for you, but my brain moves faster than my mouth. So I have to sit here for a second and formulate my answer intelligently. And he said, okay, right. But does anybody on this call want to jump in and take a dive out of it? Because nobody's judging you. This is literally like a learning, like the agent power model that we are here to literally learn and help each other. So does anybody actually want to dive in and and take a stab at it? Please? Anybody? Daphne, what would you say? No? You're in? Is that your name? Is that how you say your name? I can't hear you. You don't know. Debbie, if you were on the spot, what would you say? That's a tough one. And it's something that we definitely need to consider to be prepared for. Uh-huh. 
So that's why I'm, that's why I, I picked this subject today, right? Um, I'm not really, was, everybody else is on the call is like, don't call my name, don't call my name. Yeah, I was one of those too, but you called my name anyway. Um, <laughs> you know, you know, I love the call, I'm going to do it, right? Um, so I actually, I'll just sit there for a second. And these were, these were my friends, right? So it was, you know, they're not like the friends that I go out to and hang out with on Friday night or anything. They're like people I've known for 10 years in the community. And so it was okay, right? But I sat there for a moment and I had to do collapse myself and I had to because like when I go I've been in the business for so long guys that when I go on listing appointments I don't take the flood right a lot the advantage that a lot of newer agents have is they go with the box of flood so when I send my team out on a listing thing they have a box and they have a box that has like seller agent responsibilities um on the uh, a home light present like if we're going on a home light presentation we have this on cash offers we have this on this other program we have this right so every like and they have the box whether we're in that program or not right we're all shoppers home light pro, um buy before you sell program this program that program we have all of it in there we have a seller's guide we have copies of our home books we have copies of like our brochures, our just listed cards, right? It's all in a box, like in a bag, right? And then I'll, I will watch a lot of the listing presentations that um, the Asia Power Huddle and the Asia Collective did. And we're getting ready to implement a lot of those things. My favorite one was the guy that did the boxes. Oh my gosh, love, love to his listing presentation. So anyway, so we're, we're implementing that too, right? So I'm it. Oh, crud. I don't have the box. I don't have the things, right? I don't have what the buyer's agent does. I don't have what the seller's agent does. So I had to sit there on point and think, what does the seller's agent do? And I had to do it from memory, right? So let's go way back in time and let's figure out why. What's the number one reason why seller's agents or listing agents were introduced? It may not. I'm going to say, you hire an agent to be the buffer in between you, in between the seller and the buyer. That's the number one reason, right? So, Mr. Seller, you have these buyers coming in, right? And they are going to ask you a million, bajillion different questions. And I know you're top and I know you're a great negotiator. But they're going to ask you questions like, where do you go? What do you do? Oh, you're going to buy a place in Florida. Oh, you're going to buy a place in Canada. Oh, you're going to buy a place in Texas. Why are you going to buy a place in Florida? Why are you going to buy a place in Texas? Oh, you want to be close to your grandkids. Oh, you want to buy a place to open a business. Oh, you want to buy a, um, a retirement bed and breakfast. Oh, how much money do you need to do that? Oh, this. Oh, that, right? They are figuring out your objective. That's why you hire an agent, number one, so that they can't get to you, so that they can't negotiate you, right? So the first reason that you hire me is so that they can't figure you out. And I'm the, I'm the person in between that doesn't allow them to negotiate you. Number two, the people that are coming into your house if it's a scheduled showing, I know that those people are qualified because agents right now, they don't want to take people out that don't have qualifications, right? Like that, that, that don't have pre-qualification letters, right? And I know that everybody that's entering your house is an actual agent with a license because I pay for a shown service, right? And I started going down the list, right? Would you like to see my list? Now my list is not like in a beautiful format today because I started redoing my list. Um, but I can show it to you. I uh, uh, start spraying. Don't look at all my other stuff. <laughs> okay. ADD is its finest. Um, here we go. It 
was right here, just a moment. Oh, here it is. Okay, so here we are. Can you guys see that or do I need to make it bigger? Probably need to make it bigger. Yeah, make it bigger. It's very small. <laughs> okay. I have like one of those ginormous screens, guys. So that's why I say that. Don't want to relaunch. Update. <sighs> Sorry, I'm getting them. It says relaunch update, and I'm afraid to touch the button. Oh, there it goes. Is that better? Yeah. Yep, that's good. Thank you. Okay. So I'm not going to read every line because that's pretty boring. But um, so first of all, I'm going to sit here. I'm going to talk to you about your house, which we're already doing. And then once I have seen your house, I'm going to go out into the real estate market and I'm probably going to view every single house. And then I'm going to call all the agents. And I'm going to say, What's your activity like? And then if things are under contract or if things are so active, when I'm talking to those agents, I'm going to say, how many offers did you have? Did you get full price? Did you go, like, what's happening, right? So in, so on this one listing, by the way, I called them back uh, just the other day and I said, hey, by the way, um, in this community that we were looking at, um, or the ear house is in. The houses were sitting on the market for a while, but last weekend, um, just about every house went under contract except for one. And every house in the entire community had three offers. And this house had this this offer, this offer, and this offer. This house had this offer, this offer, this offer, right? And every single one went for full price, right? And I went through all of it with him, right? And then I had just put another house on the market. Um, it was coming on the market for last weekend. And I said, hey, I'm going to call you and let you know what happens with this with this other listing that I just put on the market. And I just put that on under contract yesterday. And I called and left him a voicemail last night. So he lights the list with me. We'll see, right? But that's what you do, right? And I said, so Mr. Seller, I am talking to all the agents in the community and we're all talking together, whether they're with my brokerage or whether they're not. So we all have a, a pulse on who's getting full price and who's not and why we're getting full price, right? And that is something that, you know, is a value to you, right? And so... You just have to, like, you guys already know all these things. You just have to be able to turn around and spit it back out is the point, right? Um, you have to, because you do so many things, but you have to be able to turn it into a list and send it back out because sellers think it's so easy. Guys, it's not easy what we do. You do way more than you think, right? So you do your CFAs. Um, how many of you walk through a house and you say, move this furniture here, I move this furniture here, take down your pictures. Um, it smells. Uh, you need to get your furnace cleaned. You need to clean your ducts. You need to clean your house. You need, you need to replace your carpet. You need to do your paint. Like how many, everybody does, right? You do. And then half the time you give them a list of, hey, get it. Um, and you'll see down here, get it pre-inspected. And then you advise them and you say, why do you need it pre-inspected, right? Um, I was on a listing appointment yesterday up in Aurora and I was talking to him about this. I said, hey, you might want to get it pre-inspected, blah, 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 blah. And, I, and he said, well, I had the sewer line. I bought it four years ago and the sewer line was clear. And I said, so a root couldn't have grown into it in four years? And he goes, no. And I was like, really? I think it could have. I said, do you have any issues with your roof? And he goes, um, yeah, I mean, it had some damage. And I said, did you get it repaired? And he said, no. And he said, did you collect money on it? And he said, yeah. And I said, well, it's going to come up in your inspection and you're wanting the highest amount, you know, the highest amount. So here's another thing that we do. 
So I'm telling you right now, Mr. Seller, I have value, right? So this list is long and you have to be able to, what? Regurgitate it to show them your value. See, Mr. Seller, what you don't realize is that not, not by being able, by not hiring me, there's a lot of things that I can save your money on ahead of time. Because if we go ahead and price your house right here, right? And then you get surprises down the line because you didn't hire me, you might end up with less. Okay. And then you go down and I said, I'm, you know, I do floor plans. I put, I do 3D tours. I do virtual tours. I do walkthrough videos. I, you know, do single property websites. I do, I get it onto, I do two MLSs here. I do a private EXP. Um, MLS, I can do cash offers, I can do, and I just start spitting them out, right? And then by the time I get down to like 20, he's like, okay, okay, okay. And I'm like, no, 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 you asked me. (laughs) Let's just keep going, right? And then, you know, I do a first photo sign with a QR code. So if they're driving by, they can scan it and it goes to the website, which pulls up your listing. And once they see that, it all automatically comes to my my phone and it tells me their phone number so now I can call them. Well, the VA that like pulls up, you know, I sent you a presentation the other day and the VA now has phone numbers for everybody that's in your price range. And that VA is going to call all these people as soon as we list your house. And so now I have 128 people looking at that million dollar range and that and we're going to call and hopefully we can get it sold super fast so that you can move to Florida or Texas, or wherever it is you want to go. You can't do that on your own, right? So um, if you would like to see my list, I will share it with you and don't make fun of my um, spelling errors. I'll get them corrected. <laughs> but um, yeah, so the other thing is, you know, like we have we call the agents to make sure we can call for pre-qualification letters. We can require pre-qualification letters. There's all these things that we do. Um, one of the things that I also do is I make sure that anybody that's going to inspect your house has an insurance policy. In the state of Colorado, we don't require, the state doesn't require licensed, insurance, uh, licensed inspectors. There's no such thing. And did you even know that, Mr. Zell? Our contract is 24 pages. Here's a blank, here's a blank. I always take, I always have like extra blank contracts and I hand them the blank contract. And I'm like, tell me the difference between a special warranty and a general warranty. If you don't know that, how are you going to get through 24 pages of contract? Right? So I, does anybody have any questions so far? Cause I feel like I'm just talking at you and I'm not like, Help me. Shut up. Anyone? I will stop sharing for a moment. Was your friend considering selling themselves? I'm sorry? Was your friends considering selling themselves? They are. They are. And they still want us to sell themselves. Right? Are they a working professional? They are. You can kind of remind them how the people who sell by, by themselves are often leave money on the table. Mm-hmm. Like one of the, I think the leading person is up at the for sale by owner.com. He, he hired a real estate professional because he didn't want to leave money on the table. We, we went through that. And, and his, and you know, honestly, it's a really unique situation. I think they'll end up actually um, hiring me because I'm just going to keep at him. But uh, I'm like, I'm like a dog on a bone, right? Like I will get him. But, but, but like he's the kind of guy that 20 years ago he did it by himself all the time and naturally it just happened for him every single time he he's just he's just one of those right he's just had lucky like lucky runs every single time but now this man is in the back end of a community it's a little bit farther out and he wants, and, and honestly, it was, it's Frida. Yes. Okay. 
I'm just always afraid I'm going to say somebody's name wrong, right? So honestly, it made me a blessing in disguise. You know what I mean by that? Whenever you get some sellers, um, because my value and his value are a little bit off. Okay. So I would not suggest listing the price over a million. I would probably stick, you know, in the 950 to a million dollar range. Mm-hmm. And I think that they would prefer to list at like 1.1. 1. 1. And so completely aside right now, I'm going to say something that has nothing to do with this particular show, but I don't know how many of you are going on multiple listing um, appointments right now, or, you know, or you're seeing your friends who are producer, like top producers going on multiple listing appointments right now. It's a little bit scary what I'm seeing in the market, right? I had a friend who's a top producer go on 11 listing appointments last week. Um, That's a little hot, like even for a top producer. And uh, I think we listed three last week and I think we're listing three or four this week. And I know I have two coming next week. That's a lot for me, right? That's not bragging. That's a lot for me. So what concerns me just aside, just good for thought is if we're taking listings that are slightly high right now, if the market, if it's an indicator, right? So why are all these people suddenly listing, right? Is it because the market is good? Are they selling quickly? Because what I'm seeing in Colorado is the houses that are 900 and up are selling fairly quickly. The houses that are 700 and below are 750 and below are selling very slow, especially like 450 and below, which is really concerning because usually 450 and below are the fastest to sell. So I've been in business for a very, very long time, um, longer than most people. And so I've been through so many term, turns that when I see something like that happen, it, I, I don't get scared and I try to stay in the right mindset, but I do pop and I say, okay, Do I need to think about marketing retainers? Do I need to think about um, a $1,500 upfront marketing fee or writing something like that into my listing my listing contract? Because I have, at one point in my career, had 10 listings or 15 listings and the interest rates jump from... 3.8% to 6.5% and nothing sell and had $20,000 worth of marketing, you know, $25,000 worth of marketing just up in the air and unsellable listing. It's a very scary position to be in. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what's happening, but I, I am seeing quite a few people go on a lot of listing appointments, right? Right? I don't know if it's from the NAR and the sellers are thinking we should sell faster. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I'm somebody on one of our calls is way smarter than me and can tell me, but you know, I don't know. So, think about anybody have anything else with proving value? Like, I'm happy to share my list. You can DM, DM me or I can maybe make it more generic and send it over to Autumn and she can throw it into like a to the underneath my thing. But um, anybody who's been on a listing appointment and had them ask, why did you pay a buyer's agent? Do it. I have had somebody ask me if they had to pay a buyer's agent. Um, but no, mostly I've had just this big one um, where they were like, why do I need to pay a seller's agent? 
Um, and for me, it's like, you don't have to do anything, but first of all, it's to protect you. It's to keep qualified people coming to your house. It's to get the maximum amount of exposure. I share it with everybody. I email all the agents who actually sell in your area. Um, we get you the most amount of money for your property. We sell it quickly. By the way, the one that I put on the market last Friday, night, it's already in a contract. Um, 925000 with three offers. So it's under. Um, and make sure that the inspector that's coming to your house is licensed and insured. Um, and I get you to close it to you. So I recommend the right closing company. Um, the closing company could come to you. If you need to do 1031 exchange, you can do this, you can do that. We get a data free. And so, you know, and then we have transaction coordination and we save your files for four years. So that in the nutshell is as fast as I can say it. Um, but yeah, there you have it. And there's a 78 other things. I'm sure I have a hundred, um, but you know, there you go. Yeah. Anything, anything I can help you with? Anybody have anything happening in their listing appointments or any questions, anything that can come to, I don't care what, what is related to you. Just throw it at me. Okay. I have a, I have a program for you. Um, Debbie, have you used it yet? The fluid, you like it? You know? Okay. All right. The, the active status on a majority of them is not accurate for me. Not. Uh, like it'll say it's an active listing and it sold two years ago. Okay. Well, then I'm going to research that before I launch it to anybody else then. Yeah. It was Ooh, the Matthias. Thank you. It's a good thing I asked before I made it to la da da. Good. And um, she never got back to me on a training on it or anything. All right. So let's jump on that later and then you show me and I'll go to her and yell at her. But, um, I was going to show you something really cool, guys, but obviously it needs to work before I do that. So, all right. Well, yeah. thanks, guys. It yeah. might be working for you, but I don't know if it's my MLS or and the, and the syncing with my MLS or what, but I don't I, like the the active listings weren't accurate on like almost every single one I pulled up. All right. Well, my name is Jennifer Sells. I'm in Denver. Um, you can find me on Facebook, friend me. You can message me and I will share this list with you. I will also get the list and I'll print it out and I will share it with Autumn and we will put it under this training. So if you ever want this list to copy this list, you can either get it directly from me or you can jump jump into the Power Huddle um, Agent Collective and you can steal it yourself and create it into your listing presentation so that if anybody ever asks you that question, you have it and you don't get stumped. <laughs> and I hope that you go out and you have excellent listing appointments. Um, if you ever need me, I'm available. Just call me. Have a great day. If you'd like more information or to get connected to the Agent Power Huddle, join our free Facebook group. This call was designed for the agents in our EXP organization, but open to any agent from any brokerage. If you're a guest and you're interested in learning more about EXP or our specific resources within the Agent Collective, reach out to the person who invited you to this call to get more info. Produced by the Agent Collective Media Network.